Anything that you do in secret we will be revealed. You know, there's there's so many people talking about all the different trials that are going on TV right now and all the different things and all the injustices and all the things that's going on out in the world. I'm telling you what, there's a lot of injustices out there. There's a lot of things I don't understand. But it's not my business to understand it. It's my business to do what God's called me to do. Your purpose will fulfill great things. It doesn't matter what somebody else is doing. God's going to take care of them. Yeah. You know, the enemy tries to get us preoccupied so easily. He tries to get us entertained. You know, I was looking at a thing the other day, a commercial, and it was advertising a phone, and it was talking about how, you know, we're so connected in our world today that, you know, we, it's, it's amazing. They've got smell vision coming out. I don't know if y'all heard about that. <laughs> and it's, uh, you know, we can have the total experience. Not only can you see that they're cooking pizza on TV, you can smell it. <laughs> Amen. And, man, that makes you want to run out and get it. You know, a, a pretty woman walks by, you know, it's going to have a cologne come out of your television. Or perfume. It's crazy. Man, we, we, we've got things so upside down. Everything was made for God's purpose and for God's glory. You know, television, nothing wrong with television. If the Christians would have been at the TV stations, instead of trying to pick it outside the gates, going, you know, it's of the devil, it's of the devil. You know, so many people say, the internet, it's of the devil, it's of the devil, you know. It's not of the devil. Everything's from God. Nothing was made that wasn't made, that wasn't made by, by Him and for Him. It was made to preach the gospel. It was made to reveal information to people. It was made to connect people. Now the enemy comes in and he tries to rob. He tries to steal. He tries to distort things. And that's why we Christians, God said for us to rule and reign on this earth. He said for us to occupy till he returns. But so many of us are not occupying. We just kind of go on with the flow. Whatever the crowd's doing, that's what we do. We let everybody else be the influence. We let Hollywood be the influence in our life. You know, we let the enemy influence us instead of us being the ones that influence. Right. You know, there's a balance there. You know, so many times people are trying to put down and cast stones and throw stones at things that are going on out there in the world, but so many times they're not willing to do anything with love, mercy, and joy to reach out to people. Amen. It's so easy to cast a stone. It's so easy to judge somebody else. I know because I like to judge people. <laughs> you know, it's easy to judge somebody else. It's easy to, to look at somebody else's life. It's easy to look at these, these national celebrities and these national things that's going on in the news that we're reading about each and every day and today and, and, and things that are going on currently, you know, and give our opinion. But is that what we're called to do? Is that what Jesus said to do? Did He said, go into all the world, tune into all the television stations and give your opinions on what's taking place? That's not what God, what God has called us to do. That's not our purpose. What is your purpose in this life? If you are not bearing fruit in your garden, the Word of God says that He will throw the dead branches in the fire. That's right. I'll tell you what, I've had a lot of branches trimmed. I mean, look at my head. I mean, you know, I'm, you know we, cut, we cut the hair off all the time. Amen? You know, there's a lot of dead things in our life. There's a lot of things in our life that are not producing fruit. You can get so busy being busy about the things that's really not your purpose in your life, the enemy can rob you. And you'll never walk in the things that God has called you to walk in to its fullest. To its fullest. He rewards some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Now there's different rewards in this life. There's different people that attain different things. There's different people that have different callings, that have different anointings, that have different purposes. But our purpose is to bear fruit. Amen. We are the ministers of reconciliation. Yes. That's who we are called to be. Ministers of reconciliation. 